Grammy-nominated rapper Nipsey Hussle knew the man who is now suspected of killing him outside of his South L.A. store. Police say the motivation of the shooting appears to be a personal matter and not gang-related, that we don't have the details. There is a manhunt now for 29-year-old Eric Holder. A vigil for the rapper started peacefully, but several people were hurt in a stampede that started when a person tried to disarm a man with a gun. Julian Mitchell is a writer for Forbes and interviewed uh, Nipsey Hussle and just I can tell I've been talking to you in commercial break how much that time with him meant to you Absolutely. and his passing um, yeah. has been tough. And so I read this Very incredible much. interview you did yeah, and he that. you talk about a lot like entre being an entrepreneur and, um, you know, coming up in, in his, his career and on a path and being a leader. Absolutely. And this line jumped out at me with new levels. He said there's new devils. Yeah, absolutely. Talk to me about what he said outside of the interview about that. Yeah, so outside of the interview about that in particular, you know, we, we mentioned there's new levels, new devils. He talks about how you have to adjust to that. When you're but becoming more and more. Things, yeah, as you up. elevate, as you're building, it's a process. Like he talks about the marathon, right? It's a marathon, not a sprint. So you have to be in it for the long term. Um, and as you continue to rise, there's just new challenges, new obstacles, new things that you face. What he spoke about, you know, off the record about that was just how you have to deal with life. You know, you have to deal with the different people around you. You have to deal with your family, you know, like how you take care of your kids, being a father. You have to deal with being responsible for the people in your life and controlling the energy around you and being able to adjust and, and evolve in the way that you think and the way that you see yourself as you get older so that you can also continue to just be, you know, honorable and keep everything that's around you stable and together. Um, because as you elevate and rise, as you spoke about before, you know, you, you start to not know where your enemies are coming from. Mm. You know, there's times where you can't see, uh, you know, what's around you. So it's really important to keep your energy pure, you know, keep your intentions pure and just always take inventory of, you know, the things that you keep around you. You get to interview all kinds of fascinating people, but this mm -hmm. truly, truly meant something to you. What, did. what do, does, what did, does Nipsey Hussle mean for you? I mean, he represents somebody who's honorable. He represents somebody who speaks for both sides of the class system. You know, that's something that I mentioned that's very, very important. How do you mean? Uh, I mean, he speaks for people who have lack of access, and he speaks to people who have access. You know, I mentioned Jay-Z. What makes him so powerful is that he literally can speak to the streets in the same language, but he also represents, you know, being a CEO, being an entrepreneur, being a business leader. You don't see those type of examples. You know, like, you aspire to what you're exposed to, and I think he represented something that was just so much bigger than music, so much bigger than, you know, the gang culture, the street culture, L.A. He represented somebody that knew their power and walked in it and lived in it and shared wisdom and shared information and made that who they were to, to ultimately elevate and empower people. And I feel like that's who he was. That's what his legacy was. That's what his music spoke yeah. to. And I think that's what he'll be remembered for. What a blessing for you yeah, to have that time mm -hmm. with him. Julian Mitchell, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.